After five months of protests and the many injured and killed, it should be clear that peaceful protesters, backed by a silent majority, it should be clear that they will not budge on their aspirations. This should be the political class first and last concern. Well, the turmoil in Iraq is ongoing and um, at the end of the day, the only weapon we have is our voice. So what we're trying to do is to pursue dialogue and to bring all stakeholders to the table. Authorities, protesters, everyday Iraqis, any stakeholder. Political leaders and communities will have to step up to the plate, placing the country's interest above all else, building domestic strength. And within this context, it is important not to sugarcoat the current harsh reality. The many brave Iraqis who continue to pay an unimaginable price for their voices to be heard deserve that we recognize the intolerable abuses they have been subjected to. The killings, the abductions, the violence, the intimidation, the threats. So in addition to trying to bring all stakeholders to the table and to pursue uh, the dialogue, because as I said, at the end of the day, you know, our voice is the only weapon um, and only relevant we uh, weapon we have. But we document and monitor the human rights violations. Um, we call on authorities to release the detainees. Um, if there is a case of abduction, we try to help and solve it. We are in constant dialogue with families. You know, everything we try to do to contribute and to make sure that we are helpful to the Iraqis that express their concerns. ISIL is still able to recruit and regroup. Of course, we must uh, not allow them to do so. Um, so it is important to keep the pressure on ISIL. Um, by fighting ISIL, this, has, you know, this is being done by the um, Iraqi security forces in uh, cooperation with its allies. But as important is, for example, um, fairness and justice and to avoid um, further marginalization of certain groups in societies. Because if you continue to marginalize them, they will continue to be vulnerable to extremist messaging. The uh, women's particip participation in the public uh, mass protests is truly unprecedented. And as I said to the Security Council, it marks a, a new page in the women's uh, grassroots uh, mobilization in Iraq. And I sincerely hope that uh, political leaders in Iraq will heed this call. It is truly impressive to see this kind of empowerment uh, um, on the ground.